Hi guys, so today we're reading the next artist of this book, Mark Chagall, Childhood Dreams. Born on 7th July 1887 in Vitebsk, Belarus. Died on March 28, 1985, Saint Paul de Vence in France. He lived in Vitebsk, St. Petersburg, Moscow, Paris, New York, High Falls in New York. Again, Venice and Sao Paulo de Venice. Ch children, Ida and David, painting styles, expressionism, surrealism. Interesting. Chagall grew up in a small village and the people and the way of life from his childhood would always play an important role in his art. Young Mark Chagall enjoyed watching the people of his village carry out their daily tasks. They milked cows, they harvested wheat, and they brought food to sell at the market. Mark's own father sold fish. Though they were poor and they had to work hard, the people in Mark's village made time to dance, play music, and have fun. Young Mark showed a talent for drawing, and his parents sent him a teacher in the village so that he could learn to paint. Chagall learned quickly, so he moved to St. Petersburg, then the Russia capital city to continue his studies. A few years later, he moved to Paris, the capital of the art world at that time. When Mark painted, he liked to include things that he remembered from his childhood. He painted cows, chickens, and lambs, and he also painted farmers and country musicians. Yet Chagall's animals and people do not resemble those people from real life. Some are green or purple in color, while others are painted upside down instead of right side up. Mark's strange creatures often appear to float and dance as if they were living in a happy dream world. People loved Chagall's joyful pictures and the artist's popularity and fame grew. In his later life, Mark learned to create artworks other than paintings. He made stained glass windows for cathedrals, mosaics for city squares, and illustrations for picture books. The Juggler, 1943, collection Gilbert W. Chapman. Chapman, New York. A, Ch a Chagall painting is often like a mysterious carnival. This picture is called the Juggler. In it, a half-human, half-bird cre creature kicks leg up in the air, seems to juggle each other characters around it. Look closely and you can see tiny horse and rider from the circus, a country fielder, and a beautiful ballet dancer. <laughs> the bird person also has a clock hanging over its arm. Perhaps this clock symbolized the fact that a carnival and a human life not will not last forever. This is the picture, and I don't know. It has so many different things. I mean, look at his leg. Is It looks like a vase. And his other leg looks like it's very muscular. The Blue Circus, 1950-1952. Center George's Pompidou, Paris. Chagall loved circuses. As a young man in Paris, he often went to see the circus with his friends. This picture shows a daring female trapeze, artist on her trapeze. But she is flying though the air, through the air, or moving through the water. The deep blue background could be night sky with a shining moon, but it can also be the ocean with a fish swimming by. What do you think you see in the painting? This is the picture. It does look like 
to me more like the bright blue moon to the moon and this looks very good what things from your life would you put in a drawing would you include a favorite pet or maybe something you remember from a fun vacation Think about several things that are important to you and try to draw them in an unusual way. Cool. The birthday, 1915, Museum of Modern Art, New York. Mark Chagall, dream like people often express their feelings better than real looking people could do. Here, a floating man shows his love of woman by twisting his neck all the way around to kiss her. So this is the birthday. It does look a lot like a birthday. So this was our artist, Mark Chagall. Tomorrow we're gonna read Edward Hopper, The American Sense. Hope you enjoyed about today's artist. See you soon, bye.